Hey there YouTube, how's it going? This is Adam and I'm going to try and fix another video game here. So, what I've got is a copy of Pokemon Yellow. Um, the, the cartridge itself's in decent shape, but it doesn't play anything. So, um, I don't actually have a Game Boy, so i got to test it on my Super Game Boy here. But I'm going to show you what I get. So I hit power. It loads. Normally if it's a complete, if it can't read the pins, it would give a little error right here, and it's not doing that, it's just going straight to a white screen. So, this tells me it's recognizing that it's a Game Boy cartridge, but it's either not able to load the ROM, or there's something wrong with getting the video signal out, or something's happening here. So, we're going to crack it open and try and diagnose the issue here. So a Game Boy game, they use a special... Uh, screw bit called a game bit and let's see if I can focus this a bit here so that's what it looks like it's kind of round and has little notches around the side which grab onto the back of the screws and that's just the one screw right here it's the same kind of screw that's used for uh, Super Nintendo games um, same uh, type of screw a little bit smaller than what's used to close uh, Super Nintendo's and N64's as well so you just screw it, take it off, and the case will actually slide open. So the face of it slides down like that, and then lifts right off. So this is what we've got here. So I did a little bit of reading about this particular issue, and assuming that the pins are fine, which I think they are, they uh, the pins look very clean. There's no built-up grime, there's no rust or anything. So, the one culprit is sometimes this chip, which is the RAM chip, or this guy here, let me see, MBC, yeah, this one here. Um, I'm not positive what this chip does, but uh, what I'm going to first try and do is just reflow all these points here. Um, the board itself is in good shape. I don't see anywhere where there would be broken traces. Um, so I really don't think that that's going to come into play here. I'm just going to try reflow these uh, solder points. Hopefully, like this one here, it looks a little bit messy. Notice a little solder blob up there on the corner on that top pin. So things like that. I'm going to try and uh, touch that up, see if this makes any difference for me. So I'll be back in a moment once my solder irons heat it up and uh, show you what I'm doing. All right, so while I've been waiting for the uh, soldering iron to heat up, um, I did discover something, and watch this. So remember how I turned it on and it was white screen? I've done this many times. It was not just a bad connection. Um, but what I'm going to do is take a little al alcohol and wipe it down these pins on these chips here. Give it a little bit of a dry. There we go. Then slide the cover on. Pop it in and power. And it's working. So it's recognizing the game here. And I've done this and once the pins dry, I lose picture and I lose the game. So what that tells me is there's something wrong with these chips. And not wrong with the chips, but wrong with the soldering on the chips. Um, there's a loose connection somewhere, and that alcohol that I put on it is simply just bridging the connection. So I definitely, I think, reflowing these solder points, whether it's this guy this one or this one that will be the solution here what I might try and do is uh, dry it out a little bit and then one by one test each chip to see which one the defective one is and see which one I need to focus on so I'm gonna do that right now so this is what I was talking about I uh, just dried it out just blowing on a little bit and now I'm stuck with that white screen again so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna focus our efforts on one chip only so get a little bit of alcohol on there and I'm just gonna do this top one right here and make sure you dry up the excess so that it's not 
going to cause further problems. Oh, so that does not appear to be the culprit. So we'll do the same thing, but with the uh, RAM chip now. So that seems to be doing the trick. So it's definitely that RAM chip. So I'm gonna need to reflow the solder points on that and that should solve this issue though. Also may need a new battery because there's no game here. Um, I bought this game not working so it's not like people clear the game out right before it stops working. So I may need to buy another battery, and uh, that'll be another video, as it'll take a bit for it to come in. But uh, now that I've identified the issue, we're going to work towards fixing it. So I'm going to show you briefly what you do to reflow solder points. And it's very easy. Um, my my uh, soldering iron might not quite be warm enough yet, but uh, let's see. No, I don't think so. Basically, all you do, you heat up your soldering iron, and you just make contact with the pin for a couple of seconds and what it does is it heats up the solder reflows that connection and then you move on to the next one so you just go down this whole uh, there we go now it's starting to move so we just go down this whole board touching each pin making sure that the solder is fresh on each one and that's it. So I'm going to do this for the rest of the board and we will let it cool and then test it again. All right, so I've reflowed that chip. Um, it's cooled. Time to see if that actually fixes it. I haven't uh, wiped the contacts with alcohol this time, so it should be dry. Um, we'll see if this is actually the solution or if I reflowed it properly. I suspect I may need to add a little more solder on a couple of these, but we will, we will see. So power on. <clears throat> and we're in action so it looks like we have successfully repaired this uh, copy of Pokemon Yellow so I'm going to screw that uh, back on and then otherwise this is good to go so uh, thanks a lot for watching this um, I hope this might help someone out there that has a similar issue with their Game Boy cartridge and show you what to look for and how to go about fixing that. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to like the video, um, su subscribe to my channel, that way when I get more stuff you can uh, be the first to see me attempt to fix it. Thanks a lot YouTube, have a good one.